What's up, Stony here? So uh, this week I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, ascending picking uh, tricks that I use. You know, some people ask me about my right hand because I change a little bit from where I play uh, like two notes per string, pentatonics and three notes per string. So I'm going to show you my tricks to, you know, play uh, both things. And as always, at the end of the video, I'm going to play like a few leads for you so you can, you know, uh, develop that technique. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Alright, so my right hand technique. Now, as I said before, all the people ask me about that because, you know, is um, is the thing I do a lot to change a little bit my right hand uh, depending on where I play, and I think that helped me a lot to play more like clean and play more, you know, more confident to say it that way. So what I do is, you know, when I play three notes per string, I change my picking hand like this. So I will say this is a thing that Paul Gilbert does, you know, like, you know, my, the edge of the pig is not like that, it's not uh, 90 degrees, it's more like this, and it helps me to go, you know, through a different string and stuff like that, like, for instance, I'm going to play something like three notes per string, very easy, like, okay, that's pretty much it, now I want to play fast, now what I do is I change a little bit my thumb like this and I play it, I'm gonna play it without bone so you can hear what I'm doing. So that's what I do, but I, if I play two notes per string, now instead of do, doing that with the thumb, what I do is um, I change my peak in like this, like my thumb is going that way, so when I go up, you know, my peak is going, uh, I will say, not as close as when I'm picking three notes per string, so it's much cleaner that way. Like, three notes per string is like this. Two. I know it can be confusing sometimes, but once you get used to that, if you want to do like, a, let's say, a pentatonic lick, then you use the second chain if you want to play like a, a mode or three notes per string, wherever it is, or maybe some chromatic approach, where then I change and I play like that. So for this lesson, what I'm going to do now is um, make a close-up to my right hand, because I think it's where the trick is, because my left hand is really easy, or I can play a lot of different stuff. So let's, let's make a close-up to the right hand now. Okay, let's go to the close up. Now, let's say I'm gonna play two notes per string. So my, my thumb is going up a little bit and my pick attack is going from this to this a little bit. So I'm moving like, from here, I'm moving a little bit like that. Instead of doing like this, I play like that. So let's say I'm gonna play in minor, for instance, here. Okay, so I go like that. or down maybe, wherever it is. Now I pick really hard with, uh, where is the one like? So you can hear it's pretty hard. Oh, right, I'm going down. Um, but you know, this is this technique, when I play like three notes per string, I change normal picking, but I move a little bit my thumb like that, and I pick like this. Uh, like Paul Gilbert, like. So, three notes per string, two notes per string. Three. Uh, two. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I know it's not easy at first to have like uh, two different, you know, like picking things or whatever, but just think about it, if you want to play like uh, pentatonic stuff, it's pretty fast to do that, or three notes per string, it's pretty fast to do that. I mean, it's not something that you have to change the pick or something, so yeah, uh, I get used to that pretty fast, and I think it can help somebody out there that uh, is having problems with the picking technique, so just try it. Alright, so this first lick is the same lead I play on the beginning of the video, and actually it's very easy if you think it's all E minor pentatonic. So what I do is I start on the 7th fret of the C string and I go like this. Okay. Then I change the position here, play just these two strings, I change again. Now I change again, and now here I go down like... And now to finish I play the 9 because I think it's more uh, kind of an interesting note for me, but you can finish wherever you want. Now the trick is that I don't play all at once, uh, instead of that I repeat some notes like...
for instance. And um, as I said before, and, and as you have seen on the close-up, I change a little bit my picking like this. Okay, instead of doing that, I pick like that. And with a little bit, you know, the pick is more outside, I would say, like that, instead of just that point. And second advice I can give to you is think on the tempo. You know, what I do here, uh, I think all the time where is the one, like... So I, in this case, um, I'm thinking all the time in A. Uh, let's play a little bit, you know, on a higher note so you can uh, hear better, like, let's say I'm playing that. So what I'm thinking is... This is an important note for me. If I change, then it's the, it's the next one. But, you know, in that way, if you have a mistake, I mean a little mistake, of course, then, you know, you're gonna be right on the next note. Like, let's say, for example, like one, two, three, and I, I don't hit this note, like four, but then the next one is gonna be right, like one, two, three, one. Okay, it doesn't matter if you miss a note or, I mean, it matters, of course, it's better you play all perfect, but, you know, sometimes if you are playing live and making, you know, some kind of a rock here or, you know, pose or whatever, um, it's difficult to play all the notes right. And I think it's better that way because, you know, it's a show at the end, so it's better if you, you just miss a note but, you know, are rocking out. So, again, try to think the one all the time, like... Like... That way, um, you will always be right. Now, the way I practice that is just take this one and play it faster, like... Or... You can change, you know? Whatever you want. So that's the way I practice. And again, the lead is all down, just in case you want to play it exactly like me. It's gonna be like this. So the second lead is just, as I said, it's just an exercise, but, you know, it's again really easy chromatic stuff so you can, you know, really practice your right hand. What I'm doing here, you know, instead of playing with the beat like that, like on my pentatonic, I play, you know, in the style of Paul Gilbert, I would say, you know, with the beat a little bit angled like that. And what I play is just chromatic starting the 11th fret of the 5th string and I go down like... Now it's from the 10, from the 9, here it's again from the 9. And here's from the A, and I finish on the E. Now I play E, 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 like where you want to play. So, right hand technique important is like again, like the lead before, try to think on the one, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like. My, my head is thinking, you know, it's difficult to explain that if, um, in words, but what I'm thinking is. I think like just the first note. So I'm pretty much there all the time. It's very important to be in time and it's very important you think that way again if you miss a note then it doesn't matter because you're gonna be right on the next uh, one. So again sorry a little bit faster Alright, so this third leg um, is based again around pentatonics, but this time is, you know, um, a descending pattern. And what I'm doing here, the difference is uh, I play some nine here all the time, and I repeat some notes like. Or this one. But again, you know, I'm all the time thinking on the. So the thing is that um, 
try to make like first one repeat, then maybe two repeats, then who knows, three repeats, whatever you want, like now two, three, and then faster. And then when I do two things, the lick is just go up. So, uh, slow down all together. All right, so I hope you like this little lesson about you know my picking technique. Hope I can help you with your own picking and please try you know the different things I I explained to you you know with the uh, uh, right hand you know changing the big angle and changing, you know, the attack, the peak and everything. And I hope you want to see you next week and, you know, keep working.